Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is crashing at Bethesda logo screen. So if this is what is happening, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to update graphic card from the device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager. And then expand display adapter. Now over here, select your graphic card. So it's AMD or Nvidia, select your graphic card and then click on update driver and then click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then select your graphic card over here and then click on next and let the installation complete. Now once done, you can close this. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work, restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now this is important type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, in my case, this is the location. Select the game exe file and then click on add. Once the game is added, now scroll down and find the game in the list. Now, once you find the game, click on this down arrow and then select over here high performance and your graphic card will be shown over here. So select your graphic card over here and then check. Now for Game Pass user, you can click on add a Microsoft store and then you can add the game and do the same thing. Now, the next step is to roll back graphics driver to 565.90. Now, this has worked for a few players, so it might work for you. So, roll back graphics card driver. So, uh, for example, NVIDIA card users can go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, select the right operating system, and then click on find. and then click on view, I'm sorry, go back and then you have to install the older graphics card driver. So click on this view more version and for many users installing this has worked 565.50. So you can try installing this and just click on view, download it. But when you install it during the installation, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then check. You can even try to roll back to 566.03. But for many users, this has worked. So you can try this. Try to roll back graphics card driver and then check. If that does not work, in that case, try safe mode when you launch the game. So when you launch the game, click on play and then select launch in safe mode and then click on play and then check. Next step is to delete the delete this config file now for this you can open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive open program open the users folder and then open your username folder now open saved game folder and then open the machine games folder open great circle folder base folder and over here you can see this the great circle config dot local this is the file so you can just if you want to create a backup you can just copy this and you maybe paste it to the desktop create a backup and then you can make a right click and delete it and then you can launch the game and then check still not working 
then delete the comp then delete the complete folder that is all the saved settings will be lost so you can just go back and open machine game or you can simply delete the complete machine games folder delete it and once deleted now you can launch the game and then check next step is to go to this location now this has also worked for many players so it might work for you so go to this this pc c drive open the users folder and then open the public folder now over here open the documents folder if you see documents open the documents folder open the steam folder if you see this folder make a right click and then click on delete and then you can launch the game if you don't see this folder in that case you can skip this step this is not important if you don't see the folder now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game select manage cl click on browse local files now make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties once again and then put a check on put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok and then launch the game this has worked for many players so it might work for you so try this if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step next step is to disable or close any fps meter software so if you if you have any fps meter software any third party application running for fps then you can close it and then launch the game this has also worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to set windows power plan to power saver now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel go to hardware and sound go to power options now over here you will see power saver so if you have this option power saver select power saver save it and then launch the game and then check you you can even try balanced or high performance and check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security in windows 10 go to update and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it and then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app click on browser apps go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder so open the game folder and then select the game exe file click on open now click on add in my case uh, the game is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here now restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to verify the game files now this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size 
and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM so you can check the total RAM in Windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB so and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different SSD so you can make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder restart your computer and install the game to C drive so if the game is installed to D drive or any external drive try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive then try to install the game to another SSD and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.